Hey man, so we finally, I am finally disassembling this engine. Uh, you notice that the torque converter and the ring gear are still attached to the, to the crank because I couldn't turn the crank. Remember that problem, right? So you might want to know why, why the hell this thing locked. Uh, I've removed your number seven and eight pistons. Those came out pretty easy right here. It looks pretty dramatic. Looks pretty black. Look at the look at what the oil looks like over here. This is number three and four. Number four and five. This is what I can get without turning the crank so far. Number four and five. So this is the this is what the oil look like. Doesn't look good, right? Looks like something burnt over there. Look at how the others look like. But so here's something else I want you to notice. I want you to note. See this? This is your rod bearing, right? This is one half of it. So as you can see, the has is supposed to be right over here, right? So I pull this one out. But then this bearing over here, the halves are over here. The halves are supposed to be right here and then the other end over there. So this bearing slipped. So that's one of the problems it actually takes quite a lot of effort to slip that bearing you know but we'll see i can't really remove this one yet i guess just remove as much resistance as possible then take it apart like for example this one can i remove this see this one's kind of welded there so i have to bang it a little bit okay so i can move just won't move out there you go there, there's another one. They don't look good at all. Compare that to this. This is what number seven, eight look like when it came out. Uh, with regards to the bearing itself. Yeah, bearing slipped over here as well. So I think maybe you have an idea why the crank is locked. Friction, sorry. The bearing slipped over here as well, and I think friction locked this baby up. But I'll keep working on it. My goal is to be able to turn it and look. You had asked me whether I was planning to, you know, machine this, you know, basically rebuild it. I'll think about it. It just depends on how much wear the crank will have gotten. By the time the bearing has dug into it and it's stopping it from moving, there might be something a nice wear pattern in the in the crank journal. But as I said, we'll we'll see. We'll determine once once I take it all out. Okay. That's it. Just a quick update for you.